Hola, hola. Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, hola, ¿qué tal a todos? Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you can see well on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. Hello, my name is Vilma. Let's wait just a little bit so I can see some people coming up. Um, I'm holding Facebook. I see someone on Instagram. You're on my page. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Ruth. Hola, hola a todos. ¿Cómo están? Vamos a estar hablando inglés español. Let's talk in English and Spanish. So, uh, my name is Vilma. I'm a brand ambassador, a redesign diploma, and also a furniture artist at Brenda Belson Renault. I'm located in Ontario, Canada. Hola, hola a todos. Mi nombre es Vilma. Soy una embajadora para Redesign Mi Prima. Y me da mucho gusto que estén aquí. Uh, so, um, I'm going to pull down the camera so you can see. Um, hello, baby, on YouTube. How are you? Uh, hello, Joe. Thank you for watching and thank you for uh, being here with me. Uh, Joe is going to be moderating my life. And uh, on Facebook, and if you have some some questions, um, you can love you. I know it's a spring, right? Oh, uh, so it's raining outside. It's raining. Yesterday was a windy day. Oh, está lloviendo ahorita, mucha lluvia. Pero bueno, en fin, vamos a empezar. Lo que vamos a hacer el día de hoy, what we are going to do today. Um, we're going to be demonstrating the different kinds or types of uh, pastes that we design with Prima has. Vamos a, a, hacer un, a demos, hacer una demostración acerca de las diferentes pastas. Oh, I have this. Uh, eh, las diferentes pastas que tiene eh, Redesign with Prima. Entonces, voy a hacer una demostración. If you have any questions, si tienen algunas preguntas, solo pónganlas ahí en los comentarios. Voy a tratar yo de estar ahí um, contestando. Okay, so I'm going to try to answer your questions. Voy a tratar de estar, de, a ver si las puedo ver, porque voy a bajar la cámara. Okay, I'm going to uh, put it down. So you can share this slide also well. You can save this slide. I'm going to move. This is Facebook. Okay, let me. We're so a little tight here. Yes, yes. Let's move. Um, let's move a little bit. There you go. Okay. Facebook, so I'm going to move you just a little bit right there so you can see all we are going to do on my table and you did. There you go. I think we're good to mm -hmm. I'm gonna move this. Okay, I'm gonna try to work here. Let me just set a little bit Facebook. There you are. Any Instagram. There you are. Okay, I think we already set for everyone. That's better. Okay, so I'm gonna work with these uh, boots or this uh, um, that I cut just last night. And uh, first, uh, I'm going to work. Primero vamos a trabajar en estos trozos de madera que yo recorté. Voy a trabajar con mi favorita. I'm gonna work with this. This is my favorite. Uh, it's in stock right now. Ahorita está en stock. Thank God. <laughs> so if you want this 3D paste, fiber paste, you go to the, the, the to redesign with Prima um, web and buy it because it's not gonna uh, be forever. Uh, si la quieren comprar, ahorita está en stock, vayan a la web y comprenla porque no va a durar mucho. Siempre que regresa, regresa y se acaba inmediatamente. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to use first. Uh, eh, la, la pasta de 3D Paste, esta es la más gruesa que tenemos en todas uh, las pastas que tenemos de Redesign with Prima. So, this is the thicker paste that we have at Redesign with Prima. Okay, so this is the thicker. I can put it here. Nothing is going to happen. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how it works. So, you can mix with paint. Pueden... Uh, uh, mezclarla con pintura, uh, pueden mezclarla uh, con chopes, pueden mezclarla con otra pintura, estos son uh, metálicos, pueden inclusive me, eh, con um, icing paste, also well, but 
the color, it will be changed a little. Uh, so you can mix it with paint, with chalk paste, but the color is gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be the same color as you're adding, okay? Because this is white. Es, el por qué es porque es blanca. Ya es blanca, entonces por eso no vas a obtener el mismo exacto color. Por ejemplo, si yo pongo esto con esto, vamos a, vamos a hacer esta demostración. Ok, I'm going to place a little bit of my chalk paste, voy a por, de mi uh, 3D paste, voy a poner tantito aquí. And I'm going to add a little bit with chalk paste. Voy a revolverla tantito con esta chalk paste. And you will see what I'm talking about. So this is another one. This is uh, less thicker than 3D paste. So I can just put it like that. It's not going to fall down. But eventually, with the time, it will. Okay, so it's less thicker than the chalk paste. So I'm going to add a little bit of my chalk paste here. And you will see what I'm talking about. Okay? So that paint is going to be this color, but not like, it's going to be like a uh, lighter, lighter than this. El color va a cambiar, ¿sí? Va a ser un poquito más claro que el que yo estaba poniendo, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, si yo agrego un negro, if I, uh, for example, if I add a black one, it's going to be like a, a gray one, okay? So it's going to be black. It's not going to be black, black. So, you see what I'm talking about? Ven lo que les digo? So, este es el color original. This is the original color. And this is the color you're going to get with uh, 3D paste. So, you're mixing with a white paste. That's why you're not going to get the same, same color, even though it's pretty, okay? So, you can paint it also a little. I'm going to use this with a um, stencil. One of the new ones here from, uh, from Finaver. Voy a usar esto con un stencil. Este es uno de los nuevos, ¿sí? Hola, Missy. Hola, Linda. Hello, Linda. Hello, Missy. Can you use that paste on canvas? Of course, Missy. Of course. Claro que sí. Of course. You can use it on canvas. I've been using this on canvas. So you, you have your canvas, and you can just make texture with this, even though with, with a spatula, uh, with, a, with a brush, even so. So I'm going to use this one to demonstrate how it gonna be uh, working. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna use it just in one side, okay? Voy a usarla aquí en este lado. Uh, esta stencil se llama, este es uno de los nuevos, se llama Secret, oh, this is not Secret Letter. Oh, Secret Letters, yes, Secret Letters, because we have some Secret Letters there. De nuevo, este se llama Secret Letters, and I'm going to just add a little bit, so until I don't have any paste in my spatula, and uh, so when it dries, cuando seque esta pasta, ¿sí? uh, probablemente vayan a tener algunos uh, picos que los pueden ustedes después uh, eliminar con una lija ¿sí? suave, eh, lo pueden eliminar eso. So uh, when this dries, when this uh, paste dry, and you have any, uh, you're, maybe you will have uh, some peaks, right? Uh, you can erase this with uh, light sanding, okay? So you can use a light sand or a sand like this. And just sand it off and it's going to be okay. So this is treat mixed it with, uh, with chalk paste. So it's... Uh, because I mix both pastes okay. and let me show you so you can see the texture pueden ver la textura okay. déjenme ponerla de lado aquí para YouTube and Facebook and Instagram so uh, this is the texture you will have it's very uh, I love it, I just love it. You can use it on canvas, on any furniture, on any small project as well. So I'm gonna use uh, here, voy a usar aquí, ahora, mi pasta sola, 3D paste alone, okay? Voy a utilizar esta pasta sola, alone. Uh, voy a utilizar esta parte, 
Ahora, I'm going to use this part of the... I'm going to use this part here. So this is the 3D paste. So it was thicker with the chalk paste than now. So I'm just placing along this 3D paste right now. And this is how it looks along, okay? Just the 3D paste. Okay, I'm gonna try to add just here to see, to, uh, com uh, to make a comparison. So, um, so we can make, we can compare this 3D, this uh, paste. So I mixed it, 3D paste with chalk paste. Aquí mezclé la pasta de tercera dimensión con chalk paste. Aquí está sola la de tercera dimensión. And now I'm going to add just the chalk paste. Okay, y ahora voy a poner aquí Solo la chalk paste. Voy a usar este lado. I'm going to use this side of the... Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to use this side, okay? And you will see. So this is chalk paste. Just the chalk paste. Okay. It's a little uh, because it was I have it on my store on my um, trailer outside, so it's a little thicker. This one. Uh, let me just try another one because it's the the definitely is less thicker than that. But I think it put because the cold. Oh yes. So this is the. Okay how it uh, has to be. So it's just, this is a, like a thicker one. I'm gonna add just one this, less thicker. I think it was frozen outside. <laughs> there you go. So this is the chalk paste alone. Mix it with 3D paste and the 3D paste. So you have different kind of uh, textures of paste. Tienen aquí diferentes texturas que pueden agregar ustedes a cualquier cosa. So you can add these textures on everything. So let's move on and let's try uh, another, which I love, is one of my favorites. Where is the other one? Huh. Oh. Okay, I already close this one so I think I think that the, the weather affects this so you better to uh, put your your chalk paste inside your house and, uh, yeah because I still have some all my products on my on, on a trailer outside so I just move just a bit just a bit. okay I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna use another and we are going to use uh, glass detail. I don't know if you know about this uh, this product. No sé si lo conozcan este producto, este glass detail. So this glass detail, you can use it alone. Lo pueden usar solo. Uh, it's going to be like clear. It's going to dry like clear, like some bits in it. Uh, you can mix it with acrylic paints also well, which I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, uh, mix it with acrylic paint. Uh, esta glass vitel va a secar y va a secar uh, transparente. Lo pueden mezclar con <coughs> pintura, pintura metálica, <coughs> pintura acrílica. Yo la voy a mezclar ahorita con una pintura acrílica que tengo aquí. Um, let me just grab here. Let me just move this a little bit. And let me grab another stencil. Vamos a usar otro stencil. Este también es otro de los nuevos. <clears throat> this is one of the newest from Finever. This one is Manor House. I, this is the first time I'm going to use it. So, Joe is sharing on Facebook all the links, but I just went on to stencils and just shared all the stencils. And I just go, went to uh, Glass Vigil. I think just, you can see all the colors we have. <clears throat> Sorry. So, this is glass bead gel. 
I'm going to mix it just a little bit. Voy a mezclarlo un poquito. ¿Sí? Como pueden ver ahí se ven las... Uh, se ven las... Um, you can see all the bits in there. ¿Ok? So I'm going to use it just... First of all, pueden hacerlo de... Bueno, yo lo he hecho de tres diferentes formas. We can do it in three different... Uh, so, I'm going to use it first alone. Primero lo voy a usar sola. So, if you paint this, if you have, if you, you know what? I'm going to paint this to see. Oops, oopsie. Let me just grab a brush. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to paint this side and I'm going to start with this other one. Okay, I'm going to paint uh, just a part of this so you can see. How is going to look your glass bead gel over some paint furniture? Even though you can just go ahead, if you, if you love natural, you can just place it over the bare goods also as well. So uh, it's very trendy right now, the natural uh, look. Uh, also as well, you can add some uh, stencil with uh, paint. Okay, let me just move ahead here. And I'm gonna let let it dry this. But first, I'm going to work with this. Let me just grab. I can work with this. I can work with this spatula as well. So I'm going to add just the 3D, the, the glass bead gel, just alone first. Okay. Primero la voy a agregar aquí sola. Okay. There you go. That's better. Can you hear? Yeah. That's the bits, the bits, okay? So you can hear that. That's all the bits, okay? And when it is white right now, pueden escuchar esto. Estas son las piedritas, las perlitas. <clears throat> Ahorita está blanco, but when it dry, it's gonna be drying uh, just clear, okay? It's gonna be clear. So, I'm gonna show you how it looks over natural wood. We have to wait until it dries. Tenemos que esperar a que seque para que pueda ver cómo realmente va va a estar el, el resultado. Okay, but oh 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 my goodness, guys. So this is how it turns. Let me just move a little bit. There you go. You see? All the bits, oh my goodness. So let me show you here on YouTube better. And uh, Facebook, you see that bits? Oh my goodness, I'm just in love with this. Instagram, oh my goodness, Christ. So this is glass bead gel. So now it's white. It's gonna be dry, clear, okay? So I'm going to add, so this is, this is just already uh, dry. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna place the same. And I'm going to just add a little bit here. Let me just move here. Okay. There you go. Let me add over the paint. Okay. Oh, I have to make a furniture with this right now. Oh, yes. Okay, there you go. So. It's gonna be clear, but you have your paint over it, over it, okay? Now, I'm another thing you can do also as well, is if, okay, you know what? I want just the stencil. Yo quiero, quiero solo el stencil, pero quiero que esté con un color abajo, que se vea un color abajo. Entonces, vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, el color blanco. Vamos a utilizar el chalk paste, ¿sí? Supongamos que es una pintura blanca, okay? I'm gonna use it just right here. Um, I'm gonna grab another. Uh, I'm gonna grab another. Um, I'm gonna put it aside. Make that demonstration. So I'm gonna grab another piece of wood, and I'm going to uh, use the same stencil, but I'm going to add just chalk paste. So you can do this with paint, with a brush or with a roller, but I'm going to do it with a just with a brush. I'm not gonna use any any spatula for my show paste, okay? I'm gonna use this. 
I'm going to use it as a paint, okay? Voy a usarlo como si fuera una pintura, solamente. So I'm going to add the, I'm using the same stencil, voy a usar el mismo stencil. No lo voy a quitar de aquí, I'm not going to move it, okay? Voy a dejarlo aquí. La uh, chow paste dries very fast. La pintura, la, la pasta de esta chow paste seca rápido. So we have to wait just a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how I can mix this, um, also this chow paste. I'm going to mix it. I'm going to wait until it dries. Uh, with, I'm going to mix it with uh, acrylic paint. So it's color. I'm gonna use this one because it's uh, it's a spray. So this is brush chrome. This is another one. This is the metallic acrylic chins brush chrome. It came in golden road in some other color champagne. I'm gonna show you silver. If you love silver, okay, you can add. Uh, oh, I have to do it. I have to do it. Tengo que hacerlo. Se llaman los plateados. Okay, I'm going to open this. And uh, let me just move this one. I'm going to add just a little bit of my glass pitel. Okay. Just a little bit of my acrylic paint. You can add also regular paint, but I prefer the metallics, right? Okay, so I'm gonna grab just a little bit. Vamos a revolver un poquito. Hello everyone! Hello! Sprinkle all the time. So, I know, I know. If you, if you love these techniques, if you love, uh, if you want to see more of these demonstrations about uh, uh, the, pro the different products that Redesign with Prima uh, has, just let me know. And uh, si quieren ver más demostraciones así acerca de todos de productos que tengan, porque a veces dices, ok, está viendo, está haciendo un mueble, que bonito lo está haciendo. Pero a veces queremos saber eh, cómo utilizar los diferentes productos que tiene Redesign with Prima. Ok, I'm going to use it just right here. Voy a usarlo aquí en este espacio que me queda. Ok, sí, vamos a usarlo, vamos a moverlo un poquito aquí para que pueda ver también. Instagram. Ok, there you go. And I'm going to use this one also as well. Voy a usar esta misma espátula, sí. Aquí revolví eh, la Metallic Chin Acrylic uh, with... Oh, the color is, what's the color? Oh, the color is here. Huh, brush chrome. And I'm going to place it just in the middle. So there's a lot of ways to use this uh, glass video. Hay muchas maneras de utilizar esta, uh, este producto glass video. Okay, I'm gonna sit it here because I'm going to use glass bead gel just along the glass bead gel over the chalk paste that I have here. So I have just a little bit. So I'm gonna wait this to pull up. Okay, okay, just give me a second. Uh, and I'm going to apply the glass bead gel. So, Chow paste is already dry. El uh, chow paste ya está seco, la pasta. Y voy a agregar solo el glass bead gel. Voy a agregarlo solo arriba, ¿sí? No le estoy agregando absolutamente nada, ¿sí? Porque voy a tener ahí yo una, um, un color abajo. So I have the color underneath. This is a, uh, a clear color. It's like white. I think it's vintage lace, the chow paste that I added. So I'm just mixing a little bit with uh, the other one. Huh. Okay. And now I'm going to move it. So you will see maybe the same uh, finish, but it's not going to be the same. Okay. So I'm just removing this. So you can see the difference. Okay. You can see the difference between this. Let me show you. Between this and this. So it's lighter, it's more white, the one I have on my bright, okay? 
So you have, this is with some chalk paste underneath as my, my base color is white. And this is just clear. So eventually it's gonna be uh, more like glass with gel, as the name is. Van a ver el resultado que va a estar transparente. Esta completamente, sí. Y esta va a estar transparente, pero se va a ver la base que tengo abajo blanca. Okay, so you will see the veil that is wider. Okay, so uh, you can use like that. You can uh, you can just go with a roller with your paint and your same stencil, and then you can add the glass video. Estas son las diferentes maneras, sí. Y este es revuelto con los metallic acrylic. So I'm gonna make another one with uh, with gray okay so I'm going to add this uh, fluid mer mercury is the name if I can open yeah and I'm gonna make the same voy a revolverla, a revolverla también si ¿sí? voy a revolverla voy a utilizar aquí otro otro stencil voy a revolverla aquí I'm going to mix it a little bit with um, with my glass video, okay? Just a little bit and my glass video that I have here. And I'm gonna mix it, okay? You don't need a lot, just a little of your paint, okay? Because, uh, if you add more and more, so you don't need to be the, the exactly color, the exact color you're gonna have, I uh, just adding just a few, a few uh, of your paint, okay? So you don't need too much. No necesitas mucho, agregarle mucho, solo poco, okay? Vamos a ver si podemos agregarlo aquí sobre este mismo stencil. Vamos a irnos de este lado, okay. de este lado mejor. I'm gonna use this one as well. Okay, and I'm going to add the silver one. So this is fluid mercury uh, for people who love silver. <laughs> okay, we still don't have any uh, silver foil. Okay, but uh, we have to, we have to make one. Okay, so it's just a little bit because the text is, I have to clean the, the stencil. So this is with silver, okay? Este es como se ve con, uh, con plateado, okay? Este, son las diferentes uh, texturas, ¿sí? Entonces ya trabajamos con glass bead gel. We work with, with glass bead gel, you know, you can mix it with metallic, we can mix it with uh, any other flat color also as well. You can put it just uh, alone, okay? underneath uh so this is a different uh type this is glass video okay now i have another paste that i'm going to show you and it is icing paste okay so icing paste you can also be mixed with glass video also as well and uh let me just move ahead this one's Oh, I have a mask right here, right now. Ooh. Okay, let's do this. And I'm going to wrap in our so good. And this is, so I have a few colors here. Uh, I have, this one is shoo, 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 shoo. icing paste, pasta de glaciado, ametista, ametist magic, okay? Ametist magic, and this is the my favorite. A vintage gold and we have another one that is frosty pearl and we have another one that is lucky emerald and of course we have the silver one is a uh, all silver okay I'm gonna use this uh, first the pink one and then the red okay or you can see that also well and we're gonna use another stencil let me see, let me grab, let me see if we have another, not another new one. I'm going to use this one. It's not as new, but uh, this is a uh, full florals, which I'm going to use this with icing paste. 
So icing paste is um, is metallic, so all the pants that you can see have some chins. So these are metallic, some are metallics, but it's not the same like this. This is an acrylic paint, right? And this is not a paint, okay? This is a nice a paste. So I'm going to try to, which one I'm going to use? Okay, let me try this one. Yes, this is here. Entonces, esta no es una, no es una, uh, no es pintura, es una pasta también. Ahorita les voy a enseñar la consistencia. I'm going to show you how the thicker it is, okay? So, uh, I'm afraid. Let me just grab here another spatula. So, let me just show you. So, this is the consistency, okay? I'm going to just doing like this give me a second oh i have to work it work yet this so okay so it's heavy but if i can put it just like this it's going to be dropping down but it's it's heavy it's not thin at all okay so i'm going to add this it's going to be along this one i'm going to put it in the half okay but i'm going to place another another color so let me just grab it. Let me see. Uh, I see paste doesn't smell <clears throat> like no, nothing. It's not bad. But chow paste, the smell of chow paste, el, el olor de esta, del chow paste, oh, mm. it's just beautiful. You want to eat. Te lo quieren comer. So this is icing paste. Let me just use these other ones. I'm gonna use this one so I can. My, uh, this is the silicone pads from Redesign with Prima. Okay. You hear the rain? Oh my God! It's raining, raining, raining. Since yesterday. Okay. How's the weather? ¿Cómo están ustedes de clima? I'm gonna take this out and you can see, oh my goodness Christ. And this is icing paste, okay? This is icing paste, I love it. This, oh, just love it, love it, love it. Let me see, let me just show you. Okay, so this is icing paste. Uh, this is going to be metallic also as well. Uh, let me show you another color and you can mix this with, uh, also well, with glass video, okay? You can mix it. I'm going to use the, uh, let me use frosting pearl. It's like a pearl finish. It's very beautiful. Yes. So we got thicker, this one, because I have it outside. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna use it with another side of the stencil with this side here, okay? So this is Frosty Pearl, but it's also icing paste, okay? It's just, just beautiful. So this is, if you are you working on a white piece or neutral piece, uh, piece or a small project, uh, so this is the perfect pearl finish. Okay, you can see, and you can blend it also as well. I'm gonna blend it right now with another one. This is the the frosty pearl. Okay, so this is another one. Is icing paste. Okay. So you can mix it all together. You can mix it with, uh, with oh, thank you. You can mix it with uh, another, I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna blend it in another, uh, with other. So in the past, I blend this uh, uh, with uh, some paste. So I'm going to add this. I'm gonna uh, mix this. And I'm going to mix the white. And I'm going to mix, let me see if I can open the green one. Yeah, this is 
Lucky Emerald. Okay, so I have three. So I'm going to start by, oh, I have a mask right here, woo! Okay, I'm going to start with the green, okay? Voy a empezar con esta. I'm going to start with this color and I'm going to be blending it down. Voy a empezar a hacer una, un degradado. Okay. So I'm going to add this first. Okay. And now I'm going to add the other one, this one. I'm just putting here. Primero lo pongo acá abajo y luego voy hacia arriba. Ok. Luego voy hacia acá. Ok. Now I think I'm going to add this here. I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to try to put it here. It's not going to be uh, mixed uh, like the set ones, but I'm going to try. I, I want to show you just how to blend it, okay? No tenemos una secuencia. No se preocupen por eso. Solo quiero que vean cómo se puede eh, eh, degradar ¿sí? esta, esta pasta también. También pueden degradarlas. Hoy te voy a ir con chopes ya por último. So I'm going to go with chopes just to finish. And I'm going to show you how the different, how you can use it also as well. Not just as a paste. Ok, creo que me debería ir. De, aquí tenían que, yo debería haber empezado al revés. Ok, por ahí. Mix it up. So I have to put it in here, okay? Because I will just finish this. I have to put it here just like this or just like this to mix, uh, to just uh, blending all these together. So forget about the last one. I'm gonna do it like here, okay, once again. So I'm gonna start with the white. Sorry. <laughs> Debe empezar with this. ¿Sí? Voy a seguir con este. Ahora voy a seguir con este. I'm using the same spatula. Ok. And I'm going to use this one. Sorry, my mistake here. And I'm going to go just a little bit down here. Okay. There you go. And this is how we can blend the three colors. You can mix whatever color you want. Pueden mezclar cualquier color que quieran, sí. Y los pueden um, ustedes difuminar, okay? Este degradado lo pueden hacer. Oh my God. Just, just, just love it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. So which one is your favorite? Icing paste, glass bead gel, 3D paste. Let me know in comments so I can see you. You have a favorite? Which one is yours? Okay, no one. Oh, tell me. Gorgeous washing. Okay. So, Patty, which one is yours? Is your favorite? Icing paste, glass bead gel, 3D paste. Okay. Now, let me show you. Let me work a little bit with. Uh, let me see. Let me grab this color. Okay. I'm going to grab this cranberry. This is chalk paste. Love them all. I know. I know. But I think, I think I'm gonna stick with uh, glass bead gel. 
Creo que yo prefiero de mis favoritos es Glass Yo es el es mi favorito. Ok. So I'm gonna move this ahead. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, uh, I have a mess. Ok, now. Show paste. Let's talk about show paste. Vamos a ver. Show paste. Vamos a utilizarlo aquí de diferentes maneras. Ok. You can use it as a paint also well. También lo pueden utilizar como pintura. El uh, chalk paste. Ok. So, I'm going to first add a uh, stencil. This stencil is also one of the new ones, Skylights. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to use it. And this is cranberry chalk paste. So, I'm going to use this. Just as a chalk paste, solo como una pasta, ¿sí? Como una pasta de relieve que estoy usando para darle dimensión. So, I'm going to make this, so I want dimension here, okay? Now, you can also use chalk paste for, with a brush to have some texture or some, uh, you can use it like this with one of these brushes okay let's go like this and you can just go and dab 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 so you can create create uh, create texture okay in your furniture also well and also as well so i'm creating texture right here with this okay with uh with chopping so you can create also as well texture on your pieces okay so this is the paste and now uh other thing you can use you can just go right here like this also well okay and you can add some water Oopsie. Okay. And you can use it as a paint also well. Okay. It's I'm just mix it with water and it's paint also well. So there's a lot of ways to use chalk paste, uh, texture, dimension, paint. You see how much so you have just, you need just a little bit and you have a lot, a lot of paint. And you can use it like that. That's it. Also as well. You think, okay, you know what? I want this, but I want some spots. Okay, you can go with a little baby wipe or alone, also as well. You can grab some of this paint, see, yeah, and go here like this. So, chalk paste, you can use it with in a lot of ways, a lot of ways, uh, chalk paste. Uh, endless possibilities with this uh, or you can just use a brush and that's it okay so I'm gonna grab this one this is a wax uh, brush also from redesign with Prima but I'm gonna use it as a regular brush okay so you see so this is show paste you can use it as paint uh, you can uh, be doing just uh, like this other finish okay or you can use it as a uh, dimensional so chow paste is oof, I endless possibilities also when uh, it smells so amazing freaking amazing okay so let me just show you just for ending uh i'm not gonna go with uh, there's a lot of uh other pastes uh that redesign with Prima has like paper paste texture paste crackle uh, gel um, gel other gels but it's gonna be another class because it's gonna be like uh, too long too long so this is show paste let me show you okay
Okay, this is chalk paste. This is icing paste. So let me let me know which one is your favorite right now that I'm showing you. Déjenme saber cuál es su preferida. Okay. Arisen Prima PM me with the link to compare. Okay, yeah. So this is icing paste. This is uh, 3D paste. 3D paste with chalk paste and chalk paste. Okay. Uh, let me know. Let me let me let me see. And we have here my favorite glass bead gel. Okay. This is glass bead gel. Just beautiful. Glass bead gel. This is with uh, metallic uh, acrylic paint. Metallic acrylic paint. This is just with uh, this is with uh, chalk paste underneath. Okay, and let me see if you have. Oh yeah, we can see the difference here right now. You can see the difference. So this is wider. This is more white than this one. This is getting clear, completely clear. This is just the plastic gel alone. This is gonna be with another paint underneath, okay? Uh, and yes, so this is glass bead gel. And we have the icing paste that I blended here. And this is icing paste also well, okay? So let me know which one is your favorite. Oh my God, icing paste is just, just you see? Blink, 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 blink. <laughs> okay. So let me know which one is your favorite. Uh, it's in ice, icing paste. Uh, let me just let me just move you here, Facebook. And it's, uh, so let me know which one is your favorite, guys. Okay, is it? Is it lot icing paste? Uh huh. I yeah, am. I know. Icing paste is my favorite. No. Icing paste. I love icing paste also well. I love um, glass bead gel. Most boats for icing paste. I know, I know. You see, icing paste is just. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. It matches with my with my shirt. Yeah. What colors? Okay, the colors. Uh, Joe is uh, sharing all the links there. So um, you should be go on icing paste uh, on the links, and you should be looking all the colors that we designed with Prima House. So I use a uh, lucky emerald for, for this, and the purple is uh, amethyst magic, and the all the other one is frosty pearl. So that's the color from the for the for the icing paste. So thank you so much. Hope I can see you next. Um, yes, all the links are in comments so on Facebook. Uh, I will be posting because it's cross posted to my page on Facebook. So I will be sharing all the links uh, when this uh, live finish on my on my page on Facebook. Uh, so if you Instagram wanna want these links, uh, just send me a, a a message and I'll be sharing with you. Uh, happily sharing with you all the links. So, hope I can see you next Wednesday on another tutorial. Uh, uh, be good, be well, and be happy. Okay, so, bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.